Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Nick. This is my mom, Jen. Hi guys. And today we will be watching Zero Dark Thirty. Yeah, I don't know a lot about this one. No, the only thing... I, I think this has to do with, uh, like, the assassination of Osama bin Laden. Oh, Because okay. just over the years it's become like a... Not a meme, but like a, like a shorthand. Like, they're going to Zero Dark Thirty your ass. Like, oh. Special Forces, FBI oh, okay. type of thing. That's the lingo then, yeah. I think so, yeah. Okay. And then I don't really know the cast other than... I think Jessica Chastain might be in this one. Oh. If so, uh, then that's good because I really love her. Yeah. And who's uh, our director? Do we know? Uh, I think on the the DVD on the Blu-ray it says uh, Catherine Bigelow. Oh, this is the one. I think she won an Academy Award for this one, right? Did she? I thought that was Hurt Locker. Oh, maybe. Oh, sorry. I maybe she directed both both at least. She did both of them. Oh, okay. Yeah. So maybe it was Hurt Locker. Mm -hmm. I get them mixed up. Yeah, maybe. like on the front as it says, you know, the... nominated for five Academy uh, Awards, including okay. Best Picture. So okay. at least it was kind of well regarded mm -hmm. in its day. Mm hmm. So, uh, what yeah. What year? Do you know what year? Uh, let's see. It would have been, I want to say like maybe 2012 or oh, okay. sometime after. 2012. Huh? There, there you we go. go. 12, 12 years. years ago. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> Time sucks sometimes. <laughs> I still think of the 90s as 10 years ago. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> Ugh, God, I'm getting old. All righty. Let's check it out. Oh, God. Here we go. Oh. 9 11. Yeah. Damn, way to set the mood. Yeah. It's like when you see pictures of people who actually like jumped out yeah. of a window to avoid like burning to death or collapsing. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that guy. Jason Clark. Yeah. If you don't look at me when I talk to you, I hurt you. If you step off this mat, I hurt you. If you lie to me, I'm gonna hurt you now. Now, look at me. Look at me, Amara. We're gonna board these windows up or what? Oh, there she is. Yeah. Good old Murph, Interstellar. Yeah. I'm not rocking your best suit for your first interrogation. <laughs> and you get this guy. <laughs> is that always this intense? I'm fine. Oh, plus she was in The Martian, right? Mm-hmm. Amara, bro, I know that you know this dude. Just give me his email and I will I will give you a blanket. Ugh. Jeez. Well, I guess it's how do you get them to talk, right? How do you that's, that's the trouble, like with with the seriousness of the situation and what ha yeah. has happened. Yeah. Like, you know, the response has to be Otherwise, it'll happen again, right? They're organized and mm -hmm. I'm not sure what her deal is here though. She doesn't seem used to or comfortable with this kind of stuff she right? probably so, some like interrogators or, or like but... mid-level mid functionaries yeah. have to like oversee yeah true yeah where was the last time you saw bin laden huh you know when you lie to me i hurt you <laughs> oof in the end everybody breaks bro that's biology yeah yeah i guess see eh? He's trying to uh, to uh, film, but is his name uh, uh, something he's on that Friday Night Lights show? Yeah, something Chandler. Yeah, there you go. Chandler. Kyle. Yes, there we go. Good. How do you like Pakistan so far? It's kind of fucked up. You volunteered for this, didn't you? No. All right. <laughs> hey, my, my, everyone, please don't ask her how it's going tomorrow because she's not gonna fucking tell you. Amar is withholding. Washington assesses Abu Faraj is officially. And I think her name is Jennifer L. Oh. Like E H L E. Oh, okay. She was in Pride and Prejudice. Mm. It's supposed to be his royal guard. No, that's pre 9 11 behavior. We have no reason to believe he's changed security tactics. We invaded Afghanistan, that's a reason. <laughs> She's ignoring her. The new girl, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You can take a bit to get into the group there. Mm hmm. Boy, kudos to the actor, eh? He, I was just going to say, he's doing a great oh, job. Yeah. Food in here sucks. I'll buy you some of this. Yeah, you don't even ask what it is or care. You don't mind if my female colleague there checks out your junk, do you? Oh, jeez. No? Good. Mm. Oh. Dude, would you shit your pants? Well, remember in uh, Come From Away, mm -hmm. there's the, the one Muslim passenger or whatever said that, like, Yes. Is his, like, area is only, his wife is only meant to see oh, that. Oh, okay, right. Because they, they talked about, like, the strip search as part of the security stuff in that play, so I think mm -hmm. that's, like, my play here. 
It's been hard for them to do, eh? I imagine they had some sort of, like, consultant, either, like, say, Special Forces or CIA, yeah. to, to talk about the ins and outs, just because, like, it, it, it's a special kind of, like, psychology to... Yeah. Like, for someone to break another person and, yeah. and to have it look so convincing, you know? Yeah. What? Monday. Hmm. Our shot from the show is treated as a lie! Let's go! Shot In the box, you... Oh, he's just yelling out days. Yeah. Uh, How can I remember? After we kept you awake for 96 hours. Jeez. Gave us the name of some of your brothers, and you helped save the lives of a lot of innocent people. Which is the smart thing to do. You're starting to think for yourself. Oh, they're trying to make him think. Okay. I mean, you I, could just I'm give them names of people you don't like, right? Yeah. Mind you, they would. They know some of the guys that have ties and... Mm-hmm. Abu Ahmed means father of Ahmed. It's a kunya. Amar, I know the difference between a war name and an Arabic name. She got you there, dude. Hmm. My uncle told me he worked for Ben Laden. He read us all a letter from the shack. A letter? What did it say? Cigarette? Yeah, keep him going. You got him going. Good mm. now. Yeah. He said continue the jihad. The work will go on for a hundred years. Yeah, sure. Just like Hitler's thousand year Reich, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. Bring it all together, right? That's why they need boards and... Mm-hmm. Yeah, to just, like, immerse yourself oh, in that a, kind of a world. Yeah, and... what a career to have. Mm-hmm. Oh, that guy was in Chernobyl. Like oh. Who did he work for? He was mostly with Abu Faraj. They were always together. Listen, not one single detainee has said that he's been located with the big guy, just that he delivers messages. Am I wrong? Let me know when you've got some actual intelligence. Preferably something that leads to a strike. That's the trouble. You're working with so many unknowns, you know? We don't even know the guy's real name. And there's so many layers, right, of everything that... Oh, 2005. It's not just a direct, you know, that guy, that guy, that guy, that guy. Those seven are involved or whatever, yeah. right? Yeah. I'm trying to remember. I can't remember. Last 9-11, the ones that happened later that... Oh, shit! Jesus. On the bus. That's real footage. Yeah. Look at that. Oh. What could they possibly know? <laughs> <laughs> Do not feed the monkeys. Yeah, I guess. I okay. <laughs> oh, 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 good. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha, sucker. <laughs> Hmm. You're gonna stand there and eat. He wants some too. Yep. I think we'll ever get a movie with her and uh, Bryce Dallas Howard as sisters. Oh, uh, I mean, I confuse them on a daily I do basis. Too. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he, he knows that name. Hmm. He uses his most trusted courier. Ooh. Most trusted. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, are people wearing those as a disguise, do you think? Well, man, women are usually wearing that, right? Yeah. But somebody's going to kill him. Oh. Because... Or they're after that guy. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that's quite a sight. Yeah. Okay. So this is who we wanted. I think so, yeah. 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 Don't you want to see what's in the folder? You want family ties, financial networks, media sources, disgruntled employees, imminent threats, homeland... Uh, uh, financial resources, uh, trade, craft, recruiting tax... She has it memorized. Yeah. Oh, I think that covers it. Yeah. <laughs> so she's finding her, her groove here. Yeah. All right, you haven't eaten in 18 hours. We need to keep your energy up. You hungry? Mm. Mm. Oh, God. Oh, oh no. What? A lot of brothers told us Abu Ahmed was bin Laden's courier and that he worked very closely with you. He uses a cane. Kind of like Gandalf. <laughs> You're not being fulsome in your replies. And your life is going to be very uncomfortable until you give me the information I need. <laughs> poking him to... Yeah. ...the moment. Oh. <laughs> You see how she's getting a little more... Yep. Yeah. Plus, she altered her appearance a bit. 
first time she didn't. Yeah. Now she realizes they could recognize her. So. Well, and I find it interesting too that like she in a couple of these interrogations, like she's wearing like a head covering. Yeah. Even though like these are like say terrorists, they're yeah. the enemies they're going Who after. Cares? She's still. But that little bit might might make put them a at difference. ease or yeah or like make them willing to listen yes. to her. You know. You know, I was meaning to tell you I'm getting out of here. I'll go to Washington, do the dance, see how that environment works. <laughs> I'm not going to find Abu Ahmed from D.C. He's her white whale. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> they killed my monkeys. <gasps> Who did? Oh. There's some bullshit about escaping. You fucking believe that? What? Why would they do that? And who are they? Hmm. I can't remember what year. Can you? But... Uh, when we started? They... No, when they got Bin Laden. Uh, well, it was under Obama's presidency, so... Oh, okay. This is the year he came into office. Uh, it's a good thing, because the fact that Faraj withheld on Abu Ahmed is very revealing. The only other thing Faraj lied about was the location of Bin Laden himself. Mm. Ah, she's very intuitive, eh? Yeah. You two hooked up yet? <laughs> oh, I work with him. I'm not that girl that fucks. It's unbecoming. <laughs> so, no fooling around wouldn't hurt you. <laughs> Well, definitely lower your stress. And in this line of work, yeah, you, got it. It's like what we were talking about with Masters of the Air. Mm -hmm. When you're in like a life or death situation, like day in, day out, you need yeah. to have some outlet. <gasps> oh, jeez! Did they know she was there? Holy shit! Or if it's like just close enough to the embassy, yeah. if like it's known that people go go yeah, there for get the hell out, I guess, right? Yeah. God damn. Exit. Make for the exit. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. Fucking grease fires. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. The blast left a crater 10 meters. Jeez. Tried to talk his way past the hotel steel security gate. When armed guards said no, police said the driver detonated. He detonated right there. Oh, okay. Wow. He so wanted not to do his inside. Not his intended target, but. No. God damn, that was so sudden. <laughs> the meeting. Wow. Oh, meeting with the... Ooh. Well, she already met with the one guy he said I got you an interview with, right? Yeah, that was Farage. Yeah. The Jords have a mole. Oh. What? Ooh. Hamam Khalil Al-Balawi. He's a Jordanian doctor. Nice. The key is to meet him so we can figure out for ourselves what he can actually do. He really asked for a dialysis machine. Maybe we can fill the damn thing with poison. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'll put on TV. Repeatedly that America doesn't torture. And I'm going to make sure that we don't torture. Can you give us some sense of when you might start? He uh, wants us to go to him. He'll meet us in Miram Shaw with the tribals. He knows you're white. You get kidnapped there. Yeah. At that moment, with 25 mil on the table, I think he gives up the big man. And if he doesn't, we kill him. There's, there's that, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. Be concise, the director's in the loop. And I wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't update the president. <laughs> no pressure, you know? Yeah. Get his ass down here. Oh, is he gonna show up? Hmm, good question. Be killed before he gets there. Or there's so many things that could happen. Hmm. Could be a car bomb too, right? Or... Yeah. Look, I'm responsible for everybody's safety. Okay? It's not just about you. I just yeah. need them to go away for a minute. You can search him as soon as he gets here. Hmm. Ugh. I hope this works. Yeah. God, I hope they don't all die. Yeah, my fear is we're ramping up. Yeah. Because she she has a bit of tunnel vision on this. There's two guys in that car, too. Mm-hmm. Is he supposed to limp like that? Get your hand out of your pocket. Hey. Allahu Akbar. <gasps> oh, shit. What? Allahu Akbar. God is great. Oh, fuck. They say that before they set up a bomb. Oh, my God. She made such a mistake. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, oh. man. The CIA says seven of its employees were killed. <sighs> And then drive right out. She was just tunnel vision with. Uh, 
It's like you said, you know, procedure was in place for a reason. Yeah, every single time. Like, no, it doesn't matter. The um, courier guy, Abu Ahmed, is dead. Oh. It's a detainee video. He died in custody? Was he in custody? Or, like, a detainee talking about oh, him dying? Oh, okay. Right. Like, did they find out that they were mm -hmm. looking for him specifically and they uh, decided to kill him to... Maybe. He's dead. Sorry, Maya. I always liked this lead. Yeah, chasing it for like five, six years yeah. by the point. I'm gonna smoke everybody involved in this up. And then I'm gonna kill Bin Laden. Hmm. Now it's personal. Yeah. Oh, Mark Strong. People are dying. We are still no closer to defeating our enemy. He's so frustrating, eh? Mm-hmm. Do your fucking jobs. Bring me people to kill. I like how she's the other one leaning, leaning forward. Yeah, I'm looking at it right at him. It's him. He was one of 10 names on a watch list sent to us by the Moroccans after 9-11. Abu Ahmed al-Kuwaiti. This must be Abu Ahmed. Okay. Oh. There was a lot of white noise after 9-11. Countries wanting to help out. We got a million tips and... You know, things got lost. Yeah, you have to sort through so much. Yeah. Oh. He is there. Look at him. Yep. We now know Abu Ahmed is one of eight brothers. All the brothers in the family look alike. Ah. There you go. Isn't it possible that when the three eldest brothers grew beards in Afghanistan, they started to look alike? I think the one calling himself Abu Ahmed. It's like in, in Taken. We are all Marco from yeah. Tripoya. Yeah, right. It's of his older brother, Habib. He's the one that's. Oh, dead. there you ah. go. Okay. In other words, you want it to be true. Yes, I fucking want it to be true. Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm <sighs> down. Calm down. I am calm. <laughs> Why I shouldn't help you? Because we're friends. <laughs> you're saying we are friends. How come you only call me when you need help? <laughs> we're those kind of friends. <laughs> there will be no repercussions in Kuwait. I mean, somebody might die at some point in Pakistan. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> at some point. <laughs> That's good. Hmm. So then they can tap her phone. Then yeah. <laughs> even the terrorists called their mom. Yep. <laughs> the guy never stays on the phone long enough. You haven't tried. Look, I don't have the personnel. That's bullshit, man. Yeah. Yes, it is. My guys don't get any sleep tracking the threats within Pakistan. You're gonna sit and stare at him. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of my friends have died trying to do this. Yeah. I believe I was spared so I could finish the job. And he's saying they don't want to go because he hasn't really, they haven't really said anything. There's nothing concrete. Or, yeah. And like you said, it's the just area. just a guy on the phone to his mom and could the be one of the million cousins. And okay. The area is congested, so it's like, you know, lots of yeah. threats to his guys, and he mm -hmm. wants to be absolutely sure. Which I, I get, you know. Of course. They've been screwed so many times already. And I know what he looks like. I guess they have pictures. Mm hmm. Well, of guys with beards. Mm hmm. He could have shaved it to change oh. his appearance. Oh, there's, yeah, there's probably lots of call centers, I guess, eh? Yeah. Not everybody has a phone and. I don't fucking care about bin Laden. I care about the next attack. Mm. You're going to start working on the American Al Qaeda cells. Protect the homeland. Bin Laden is the one who keeps telling them to attack the homeland. You just want me to nail some low-level mullah crackadola so you can check that box <laughs> on your resume that says while you were in Pakistan, you got a real terrorist. Yeah. Yeah. Or that other thing you're going to have on your resume is being the first station chief to be called before a congressional committee for subverting the efforts to capture yeah. or kill Bin Laden. Wow. <laughs> Either send them out or send me back to D.C. and explain to the director why you did it. Like he wants results. And then when she's getting results, he's like, no, no. He wants immediate results. Yeah. Like she said, to check yeah. up on his resume. Yeah. Yesterday, you called about himself a cell phone. Oh. And every time his phone rings. His ah. Phone. Cool. <laughs> she's so excited. Oh. 
No way. Oh, there's, yeah, there's no way. He made a call from Hepa Street. That's the Spice District. Lahore Street, which is also in Pesh, 30 minutes. Why is it? Oh, okay, so there's like a pattern to it. I was going to say, is there a pattern? Yeah. There's no pattern. Ah. Still on tower three. Five. Signal getting stronger. Ten. Fifteen. Keep going. Twenty. I want that guy to look, find him. He's look, been looking the longest, right? Yes. <laughs> ah. ah. It's just so there's many out. people. Mm -hmm. And it's not like there's just one on the phone. He's driving his circles. Okay. Ah, well, he's on the phone. Yeah. What he means, yeah. The anticipation would just yeah. be. Oh, okay. okay. Should be close. Yeah. Twenty. See what drives by. Vehicle. Yeah. Okay, that guy not on the phone. It's gotta be like We're a car. Mm-hmm. Uh, the guy with the phone in the white car. Yes. Ah. Yeah, we need to. Confirm first. Q4 geolocated on his cell phone in his white car. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's it there, isn't it? Mm hmm Yeah. Kashmir's interesting because it's a way station for the tribals. Mm -hmm. So they just paid guys to, like she said, right? Just to... Yeah. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning, Mod. Why does this make us nervous? Yeah. Oh. See the car right here? Yep. Don't go, don't go, don't go. Uh, oh god. I gotta start shooting. Yes. Oh! Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Back up. Yeah, go back in. Back Just up, shiver. girl. There we go. Oh, fuck. Shut the gate, shut the gate. Close the... Does she have a gun on her? Uh... Not that we've seen, hey? At least he does. Yeah. God damn. <sighs> Maybe we're working from home today. <laughs> so she can't even go out in public now. No. Right? She'd have to stay in the embassy all the time. She could barely drive from her place to the embassy. Yeah. Let yeah. alone out in public. Yeah. Oh, here he is. Yeah. It's him. Mm. Oh. Okay, we get to see maybe where he's staying, eh? Yep. Because they can go raid that, eh? Mm-hmm. So it almost looks like abandoned or something, eh? Or... Yeah. Seems so big enough you figure there'd be a few person. other yeah. people with him. Like guard, guards. He, had or... to, he closed the gate himself. And... Oh. Sir? Is that James Gandolfini? Oh, it is. It's my God. That's mother flipping Tony oh. Soprano. <laughs> and is he big? Wow. Yeah. Now it's a mostly middle class community. Some ex Look at his hair. Yeah. He has actual hair. <laughs> Look, it's. Oh, there's. So he's uh, the director of the CIA. Feels like, yeah. Wow. There's John Barrowman over there. About a mile. 4,221 feet. It's closer to eight tenths of a mile. Who are you? I'm the motherfucker that found this place, sir. Oh, <laughs> sir. Good girl. <laughs> sir. <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> Good. It's like my favorite thing that says, is motherfucker one word or two? I'm writing a valentine. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, George. Uh. 21 days. It's been 21 days since we found the house. Nothing's happened. Hmm. She oh keeps God, up. look how many days. It's ridiculous. So if there are three females, there ought to be three males. Observant Muslim women live with yeah. their parents or with their husbands. We think there's a third family living in the house. Oh. So this third male that you've identified as possibly being Bin Laden, ah. do I give up all hope of ever seeing a photograph of him? Stannis Baratheon. We thought about sending a guy with a bucket to pull a sample from the sewer <laughs> to analyze his fecal matter. What was wrong with that, exactly? What was wrong with that? that How do you... 
No, who's is who's? Is a senior Al Qaeda operative. But they also said there's a 35% chance he's a Saudi drug dealer. 15% <laughs> chance he's a Kuwaiti arms smuggler. Ten what the hell? Why would anybody want any of these jobs? 78. Oh. 94. Oh. 100. He'd be the first successful drug dealer not to have dealt drugs. <laughs> yeah. Like... But the president wants to know if we were going to act, how would we do it? Give us options. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, get some ray guns. A place from, that doesn't exist. Get some ray guns <laughs> from the aliens. They've gone through a, an initial round of testing. You'll notice the stealth oh, panels, I know him. similar to what we use. Oh, guy on the left. Yeah. But it can hide. So, uh, hey, excuse me, <gasps> what, do we, what do we need Chris this for Pratt? in Libya? It's Andy. <laughs> and this is a couple years before Guardians. Yeah. That he's surrounded by a large contingent of loyal fighters. Oh, and uh, Joel Bridgerton. Mm. Joel Edgerton, not Bridgerton. Uh. Oh, no. <laughs> it's gonna... <laughs> <laughs> God. He's probably ready to throttle her. Or smash that window so she can't mm -hmm. draw it anymore. Yeah. Well, this is a little bit of a clusterfuck, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> I'd like to know what Maya thinks. We're all incorporating her assessment into ours. A hundred percent he's there. Ooh. What do you think of the girl? I think she's fucking smart. We're all smart, Jeremy. I love John Berriman. Mm -hmm. He's so much fun. What else have you done for us, besides Bin Laden? Nothing. Oh. Well, you certainly have a flair for it. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So he knows she's focused right on it. Yeah. Yeah. The canaries, oh God. <laughs> they haven't put a date in, have they, recently? Oh. oh May 1st. <laughs> there we go. There we go. 2011, so I think we're getting close, eh? Should be, yeah. Fuck around on this one, dude. You're just fucking around because I'm up by two games. There you go. I did not expect to see Chris Pratt in this. No. Andrew Bernard himself. <laughs> you thought I was dead? <laughs> so did the president's enemies. I wanted you to hear it first. You know anything we talked about? It's gonna happen. When? Tonight. Oh. So they're going in tonight. Yeah. Right? The director's going on her confidence. Mm-hmm. Wow, look at the structure of that helicopter, eh? Yeah, it's so... It looks like a tank, like... So high-tech looking. Yeah. It makes me think of, uh... What was that Roy Scheider movie with the helicopter? Oh, yeah. Blue Thunder? Yeah, I think so, yeah. yeah. Now she just has to wait. Mm-hmm. Coming in nice and Quieter, quiet. Quieter, yeah. I guess they must have orders. If it's him, kill him, right? Yeah. It's not any... Yeah. Let us know first, and we'll discuss. And... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> While you're all waiting there. Mm-hmm. Oh, there he is. Oh, there he is. Good doggy. Hmm. Boy, they're really coming in, eh? Sneaking in. Yep. So they're under radar. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of rock there, eh? Oh, yeah. Lots of mountains. Oh, are they parachuting? Or going low enough so they jump. No, they're gonna like land and get oh, out of the okay. chopper. God, the butterflies, eh? But I mean, they've trained to do this, so I guess yeah. it's just be adrenaline, maybe. And yeah, yeah, like SEAL Team Six, like they are the elite of mm -hmm. the elite, you know. SEAL Team Seven was probably pissed they didn't get to them that day. <laughs> Six did the job. <laughs> We've lost power. Go to lockout. Oh shit. What did they? What happened? <gasps> oh, they're gonna. What the, what the hell? Wow. What the? Jeez, that's probably not on the schedule. No. What the? Yeah. What did they do? Well, they said too much updraft. Oh. And and these are like experimental helicopters. Yeah, right. So true. Eh? Yeah. I guess just uh the cows and. Well, there's no sneaking up now. Okay. Ugh. Jesus Christ. 
<laughs> okay, he was the one, the courier, the guy, driver. Yeah, yeah, the courier. Yeah. So that's one family. Because mm -hmm. we know there's another family. There should be three. Plus, yeah. Fire in the hole. Look at that, eh? Yeah. Well, what are you doing, you dummy? Oh, Jesus. Yeah. He's dying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean... Picked up the gun, lady. Yeah. It's okay. Oh. It's okay. Yeah. Well, and it's just like the, the silence around yeah. so much of it, and then just like, you know, sudden bursts of yeah. noise and... Yeah, because they've got every, everybody now except him. Mm-hmm. <gasps> oh. They figured somebody knows their name. It's somebody they know, right? Mm-hmm. Osama. <laughs> like it's good. <laughs> oh. Okay. No. There's a lot more people here than they thought, hey? Yeah. Oh, is that him? Got a possible jackpot. Oh, got a beard. Mm. Hard to tell. Because, like, the wife or whoever would lie. But yes. Yeah. The kids would not. Forgotten country. Geronimo. <laughs> but they're sure it's him. I, I guess so, yeah. Yo, what's up? I shot the third floor guy. Imagine if you were the one who yeah. actually killed him. Like, Grab a bag. See where us is inbound, eight miles out. Did they just have to leave that other helicopter there, I guess? I guess so. Echo zero 05, this is Red Zero 02. How long do you need for SSE? Oh. Oh, yeah. That's Rumlow from Captain America. Yeah. Aww. Travel criminals, terrorists, they all have families, right? Jeez. Look how many are there. So many kids. Yeah. I like how they kind of only showed him either like from yeah. on the camera or yeah. like kind Not of face on, right? Quick yeah. glances, you know? Yeah. Yeah, like the most infamous terrorist of the yeah. 21st century, you know? Yeah. Groups that were all just human, eh? Mm-hmm. No matter what kind of a criminal mastermind or whatever. Way more. Way more. Move. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Jeez. God, they're probably happy to fly away, eh? And not be Yeah. Inundated with locals and military and Mm-hmm. She wants to see, right? One after so much time, yeah. You, part of you thinks wanna... that, that this isn't real. Yeah. Oh, is she gonna identify him? Oh, um, is that what they want? Yeah, I guess so. Because they might not know, but she. Well, and, and, like it's her operation. Yes. So. Yeah. So he's waiting for confirmation there to. Yep. Got him. Sir, the agency expert gave visual confirmation. Yeah, he's just a man, right? Yep. But a powerful man. Yeah. Yeah, like so many people died, you yeah. know, before he finally had to pay for what he did and Yeah. I think she needs some time off now. Yeah. She fucking earned it. Like Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, holy shit, eh? It's finally over. Yeah. Cause she couldn't crack till now. All that went on and Yep. She's probably so tired. Yeah. Yeah. But where did the Zero Dark Thirty come in? Well, like at one point she looked over at a clock and it said like local time, like, uh, uh, like uh, it was a uh, 1230. Yeah. So maybe it's like, like the time of night or dark 30. Mm. Yeah, it must be. Like it. when it, it happened or when they. Yeah. That was very good. That was excellent. Very good, eh? That was quite, quite good. Yeah. They got a crazy amount of good actors in this one. Mm -hmm. And some good cameos too. Or, yeah. or, or when the characters are more like say bit parts, like it, yeah. like. If you held a gun to my head and told me to, to name, like, you know, a hundred actors that I thought might be in this. I know. I never thought that James Gandolfini would be among them. Or Chris them. Pratt. 
or Chris, Chris Pratt too. Pratt. Never. He was yeah. he was a shock. But it like because James James Gandolfini almost looked like um he could have been like a prime minister or a president. Yeah. Or the way just just presence he had, right? Uh, yeah. Whoever the more weight on him and the uh, you know yeah. director of the CIA was yeah. at, at that point in time. And yeah. I want to say that wouldn't have been too long before he died. You know. Oh yeah, right. It would have been a few years. This was done. What year? Th- this came out twenty twelve, and he died. I think he died in twenty twelve, didn't he? Or was it fourteen? Uh, let me remember. Remember. look here. Died twenty thirteen. Ah, a year, year later. later. Oh. Yeah. So one of his final roles, yeah. I would say. Yeah. But he's just, you know, he was great in that role as short as we saw him. Just the presence. Oh, right? Absolutely. Yeah. And then, yeah, like, you know, John Barrowman, who's always fun. I mm-hmm. It's funny, like, saw him a couple times and then it's like, he has not said a goddamn word this whole movie. And then yeah. finally he says like one or two things about yeah. like, you know, I want to hear what she says. Yeah. Yeah. He's a really fun actor. He was on like, say, Doctor Who and Torchwood. And mm-hmm. um, and when I got an autograph of them, he kind of like leaned in close for a hug. And uh, he's he's yeah. a really fun guy. Him and his husband, yeah. they're just like, they're such terrific people. Yeah. But then, you know, like I say, you got, um, you know, Chris Pratt. We had mm-hmm. Mark Strong. We had uh, just so many recognizable oh, people yeah. in this one. Yeah. But yeah, what a... What a story, eh? The way, the way they, yeah. I wonder, you know, what's not true, like what's not true. Because at the beginning it said based on. Yeah, what what they either say, like they combined certain things or they Mm -hmm. brushed over, you Mm -hmm. know, for the sake of the story. Yeah. Um, Let us know, guys, if you know, Mm -hmm. if you're knowledgeable on this subject. And, you know, Jessica Chastain, like, she's a world class actress. You know, she she did so good in this one. She was a force to be reckoned with in this one, though. And especially after that. um, Her friend was killed. Her friend was killed. Yeah. Yeah. That that made it personal. Because before it was like, he attacked our country. You know, we're doing this for the good of the world, which is all very important. But, like, that made it personal. That gave her, like, the extra drive to get it done. Yeah. That's why she said, yeah, when you see him, kill him for me. Yeah. Yeah. And then there was the similar vibes or like her character really reminded me of of Clarice Starling in uh, oh, yeah, Silence yeah, of the Lambs bit, yeah, yeah. There, were, there were several shots when she was in a room full of men and she was like the shortest person yeah. there and the only woman yeah. like in the, in the when she's talking with the director for the first time in yeah. the conference room she was sitting towards the back almost mm-hmm. out of view yeah all these men are around talking about things and yeah. she's just like having to kind of speak up and be like I'm the one who got it done yeah and similar kind of vibes to that because she's like a very very small person mm-hmm. relative to especially to all the, the say like yeah. seal guys or the actors did them. she get nominated i wonder some kind you were of looking awards. at some of the awards but you were looking it, more for the it, yeah it says here that it was like nominated for best picture oh yeah nominated other for things. more than so maybe she was nominated but she didn't win because that yeah mm-hmm. uh, let's see nominated best picture she was nominated best oh, okay. best actress best writing so did it not win anything then it won best achievement in sound editing oh wow okay which given like they say like the military nature yes. or like that yeah. like that one scene when they're going through like with like, the whatever server room where you hear like all the voices yes. all the chatter all the yeah. phone calls all the surveillance stuff and yeah and sort of things like that they really kind of like immerse you into like that sort of side of of like counterterrorism mm-hmm. or like how like mm-hmm. you know the military works and well, and it would just be so, there's so much information, yes. right? And there's just, you've got the whole world. It's not like, okay, everything is happening in one country or one city. It's like, they could be here, they could be there. They change this, that, the other, like, to constantly keep up well, with all of that. Like, you know, they found, you know, um, their their guy, you know, Abu Ahmed. Yeah. They had his real name all this time. Yeah. But we never knew that he went by this name, yeah. the code name or whatever. Yeah. Like for six or seven years, he just sat in a file or some archive just because like it said human error, right? That's exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they yeah, could have got it done earlier, but and and you know like oh you know someone says he's dead and he and he can say like point him out in a photo mm-hmm. photograph, but it turns out that's the guy's brother who looks almost exactly like him. Yes, and, and he's got eight brothers and yeah, all these little like minutia of you mm-hmm. know like like where a guy would go you know or like where he would stay, what he would do yeah. and. Like, uh, yeah, like you, you, the manpower that you need, right? Yes. Like, you know, you need to survey so many different people and, and you're listening to phone conversations and you're, you know, the maps and this. I mean, I guess that's what you do from nine to five when you work for the CIA. Or exactly. Whatever, right? Yeah. Well, and then, you know, like she was saying to the director, like, you know, like she's been with him 12 years, but she's only had like the one assignment. Yeah. Yeah. Because like what we sort of said at, at the beginning, she was, she, she seemed very, say like fresh faced or very yeah. sort of nervous around the torture. And then she said it wasn't her decision to come into the field. Mm-hmm. But then, you know, the sort of, she got kind of used to it enough yeah. that she was like directing this, like yeah. she, she like, you know, like poked the guy and he would slap the yeah. guy they were talking yeah. to. And so what, what year did they get him again? Uh, 2011. Okay. So yeah, it took her 
Wow, it took 10 and then years they started after, I, after 9 11 to get because, yeah, like the opening thing was 9 11, and I think they said like two years later when we started. Yeah, so and it would have gotten done sooner if they hadn't sitting in a file for so yeah, all these little things, yeah. But like she said, I mean, they had millions of tips, and what you can't. And when she was everything. she was saying to the the seal to seal team, like the seal guys, when they got there, there's two narratives around where he is. Mm. First is that he's he's holed up on a mountain with all these soldiers. Yeah, but that's like before nine eleven, he yeah. would have done that. Yeah, because as far I think I remember reading that that Bin Laden himself was like a Pakistani like prince or like related to whatever royalty, and he was like hiding out in afghanistan uh, and like in all these other places and all these yeah, other like fundament yeah. fundamentalists who would like shield him yes because he yeah. was like kind of championing yeah. their cause well i'm surprised though and i i i don't know enough about the history but after they got him would there have been a huge backlash from all of his underlings his supporters i th- yeah not quite sure about that because at the very least like without they him feel like they've cut off the head of the head of the snake, snake and then yeah it, it would take, and exactly yeah he was like the you know the know what to, yeah the sort of like you know brain of the body in that mm-hmm. case you know because mm-hmm. like she was saying to kyle chandler's character that like you can go after all these other little guys but the guy planning yeah. it all is still out there that's right it's yeah you're not getting any further ahead and, and yeah. you know like as, as they saw like with all those computers and the courier like he was still like he was invisible to the world for so long and he was still getting all of his orders yeah. and his informa- out. information out there. Yeah. Yeah. Cause like, you know, throughout the whole movie, there was like two, three different attacks that were carried mm-hmm. out while mm-hmm. they were searching for him. Yeah. You know, he was still like an active threat. I like at the beginning too, before the, the all the, the chatter, the nine before nine 11 stuff, yeah. all of the stuff from the planes and the yeah. people. And... Well, it did a good job of like, you know, setting the mood, first yes. of all, just because this is a, like a very dark, you know, yeah. subject matter. But also it's like our, our, you know, not necessarily heroes, but our protagonists have to do some extremely, you know, morally ambiguous, verging on, you know, villainous behavior. But all those audio tapes from the beginning, that's like, why. that's why, that's you know, why. I mean, you, you can't well, like they said, like thousands of innocent people were murdered, you know, yeah. that day. So yeah. it's like, yeah. and these people will kill again unless we do something. Yeah. And, and then it, we can't just be all nice and yeah well and then like the, when they showed the one scene of like the protests outside the embassy like the one sign said you know stop american terrorism mm-hmm. like it yeah it, it's very unfortunate because it goes both ways yes like like you know americans yeah. in places like like they kept talking about like iraq with wmds mm-hmm. and you know seeing all these little photos yeah. of you know american yeah. soldiers of, of, with all these like gold bars you know like oh here's your wmds yeah. or whatever but it's yeah. like that in afghanistan you know, like war crimes or going after the wrong person or whatever but then on the other side you have you know these fundamentalists who are bombing yeah. targets and you know like it's it's yeah yeah, yeah. but now just fantastic performances yes. all around yes. and, and very Good. just like for how say like dense it was in terms of like just people talking about names mm-hmm, or mm-hmm. like all the sort of tedious intelligence aspect yeah we didn't of it. get lost in that no and yeah, and it yeah. was never it was never really too confusing or boring too like like oh, no. the movie yeah. is so like smartly made yeah that it keeps you gripped all the yeah. way through agreed because i start to lose when they start getting too technical about everything and they list all these names and, and all the names and stuff yeah but so no catherine kind of, catherine bigelow was such yeah. a talented talented director that yeah. she could keep you sort of latched on even if you don't fully understand the specifics Mm -hmm. you get you get the gist like if if they're excited it's like okay we have something to go after yeah yeah well this is our first one of hers right so well done well done yeah Yeah, you know other than being you know like james cameron's ex-wife she's just a supremely talented you know director in her own own. yeah yeah i'm really really glad that she can just pull off something this excellent yeah so yeah that was zero dark 30 ladies Mm -hmm. and gents that was you know a lot of faces that we recognize and so, yeah, thank, I hope you guys enjoyed as well. If you want to watch the full length of our reaction, I'll put a, a link down to our Patreon below. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And, uh, yeah, that's all we have for you today. So, we will see you later. Bye, guys. Bye.